Next up on our CBC Spring Sports Media Day tour is the Perry Pirates baseball team, head coach Matt Platt. Coach, thanks for being here. Uh, why don't you just start out, just give us a quick overview. What can we expect out of the Pirates this year? Yeah, we got a, a veteran squad this year, Steve. We got the whole roster back, nine, nine starters plus some guys who helped out. I only lost one senior last year in Jose Soto. Um, so with all the experience and, and leadership, uh, we're hoping to be uh, pretty competitive. Yeah, and I, I took a quick look. I think you returned seven all-conference guys from last year, and you're, you're going to need them because uh, the, the realignment, the late division's a, a little bit of a meat grinder, a uh, tough, tough conference for baseball or any sport, really. But, you know, when you look at that realignment, it's got to be a little exciting. You get some of those uh, neighborhood rivalries, uh, things like that, with a little bit more on the line. Has that inspired the guys at all, just knowing they're going to play some teams like that? Sure, always, you know, whenever you know who you're playing, uh, you grew up with them playing ball in some way, that always adds a little bit of fire to the competition. Um, my understanding, though, we're, we're in the chagrin this year, so. Uh, oh, I took a look, and I thought it said you were in the. But that's even more fire for us, because chagrin has been our traditional place. Uh, we played at the Shagrin Falls, the West G's, the Oranges, the Hawkins the last, you know, year in, year out. So, um, you know, seeing those guys in the competition, um, like you said, it, it adds a little bit of extra each time. It makes it a little more fun. So, yeah, coming in, uh, you know, obviously with those seven returning uh, all-conference guys and, you know, all the experience you return, what are the expect expectations for this team? You know, it, it, as far as we can go, I try to make sure our minds are – we're focused in a place of uh, – it's cliche, but we try and go 1-0 each day. Uh, cliches exist for a reason because, you know, they have some – uh, some backing to them but you know if we focus on the micro events at bats innings one game at a time uh things will, will end where they should so uh with that said we we hope to be there at the end uh fighting for a cbc championship all right and let's move on uh let's go right to your left there for the folks at home go ahead and introduce yourself name grade and what positions you're going to play this year Oh, my name is Jason Pentec. I am a senior at Perry High School, and uh, I'm I'm usually a utility player, but I'm going to get a pitch this year, sir. All right. So coming off uh, last year, all conference. Uh, what are your expectations for this year? I mean, obviously you want to build off of that and maybe do a little bit more. What are you hoping to accomplish? Well, honestly, just like communication with our team and everything like that. We're gonna we have the same squad this year that we had last year. And I think that'll be better for us because we already know how we play and everything how we hit so i think i think we're going to do pretty good and i hope make it to states when you look at all that experience that returns how has that helped the preseason just knowing that hey we don't have to teach guys what their role is they already know it how, how has that impacted the the preseason oh uh, yes coach see um we had a young team last year so it took a little bit in, in our preseason last year to get used to it and everything. And this year, since we're a little bit older club now, I think we ever, we got everything down. So I think we'll be good. All right. And you said you're a pitcher. So give me a little uh, scouting report on you. What's in your toolbox? What pitches do you throw? What uh, What's your fastball hit? Um. Well, I throw a, a, a four seam, a two seam, and then change up and curveball. And – and I, I don't know what my fastball is really because I never like had it, you know, done before. But um, I think my pitches move really good, and I'm just gonna use everything I got while pitching in games. What's your mentality on the mound? Are you a guy that just likes to, you know, power versus power, or are you meticulous and hit your spots? I I really just think about it in my head, just being a bulldog in the game. All right, who's your catcher and what kind of uh, rapport do you have with him? Um, my catcher is Ole McCoon, and he's, like, not going to, you know, have him up here, but he's, like, one of the top-rated catchers in 2025 class. And he does, he does really good, you know, catching everything, blocking everything. He doesn't miss one block at all. He hitting His hitting is incredible. Like, he hit over, was it 500 last year? So yeah, he's he's really good catcher and love to have him. Sounds good. What uh, what are your goals individually and for your team this year? Honestly, just to play together, have the bulldog mentality like I have on the mound, and just you know try our best to just go really far this year. All right, sounds good. Good luck to you this year, and pass that uh, laptop down to your left. All right, for the folks at home, go ahead and introduce yourself, name, grade, and position. 
Uh, Sam Tharp. Uh, I'm in 12th grade and I'm a utility, but mainly play first base. All right. So coming in, Sam, senior year, what are your expectations? What are you hoping you can uh, conclude your high school career with? Uh, for like the team or myself? Both. Uh, for the team, I just want to see all the young guys improve um, to help build the program for the future years and uh, make a run deep into the playoffs. I think that would be huge. And then personally, just be the best team player I can, uh, help out the young guys, um, just make the team better. Jason said last year you were a real young team at the start, took you a little bit uh, you know, time to get things rolling together. How much growth have you seen from the start of last year to this year? Oh uh, Yeah, last year, um, I'll just say our first game, Hawking, uh, that was a rough game, but we bounced back. Um, went on a like 13 win streak or something like that. And I just think we're planning on carrying that over because it is the same team. We all have that experience in chemistry. Um, so yeah, just continue to win games and be able to pull out the close games. Every team needs some leadership. Who are those guys? Uh, the three guys sitting right here. We got Owen, me and Jason. Those are our guys that younger guys and everybody else looks up to for advice and you know, how we play, play the game the right way. They all study us. All right. So legacy-wise, I mean, you're a senior. What are you hoping that when you graduate, people remember about you? Uh, just the player I was on the field and the way I communicate, because I think that's a huge part of the game. Um, just playing the game the right way, playing hard, playing dirty. Um, not dirty, like bad, but like grit, you know. Um, yeah. Give me a guy on your team you think's going to have a breakout year and tell us why. Yeah, Logan Buner, I think um, he uh, probably will play left field. Um, he, he pitches as well. I think he'll have a great year on the mound this year and also hitting. He's been swinging it really well. So hoping that he has a big year. Sounds good. Good luck to you this year. All right, and pass that down to Owen. Oh, and I thought you'd have a bigger smile on your face. If I just won a state football championship, I wouldn't stop oh, yeah. smiling at all. <laughs> all right, so uh, go ahead. Introduce yourself for the folks at home. Name, grade, and positions you're going to play. Hello, I'm Owen McCoon. I'm a junior, and I'm mainly a catcher, but this year I'll be playing some pitcher, first base, and outfield. So it's been a big year for Perry. You win that state title and heading into a baseball season with a lot of experience and talent coming back. Do you, do you sense that that mentality has carried over from football to baseball? Uh, yes, I definitely think so. Because just like football and baseball, we all got the grit. Um, we're really – we're kind of younger, but we're, we're experienced. And we're, I just think we're going to come out like football. We're going to be ready and all that, Yeah. I don't know how much you paid Jason to say all that nice stuff about you as, as a catcher and a hitter, but uh, whatever it is, it, it works. But give us a scouting report. I mean, what do you like about playing catcher? And, and you know, what, what is the scouting report on you? Are you a guy that can fire out base runners? I mean, we know you can block and do all those things. Oh, yeah. I just try to help my pitcher and make him better by uh, framing the strikes that aren't strikes. And I, I definitely love blocking surprisingly but i do and i love trying to throw people out uh it's really fun yeah absolutely and then uh, talk a little bit about the pitching staff i mean you're the guy that's gonna be out there working with those guys what kind of rapport do you have with them and uh you know how, how good can that staff be uh i think we're gonna be good because we got different speeds different height different everything we don't have a lefty pitcher but i think that our radius can do the job all right, what kind of goals do you have for yourself and your team this year? Uh, well, team-wise, uh, I like to make a big run, and I also like to go down as one of the best period teams in history for baseball. And individually, uh, I like to lead the area in RBIs again and uh, get a first team Ohio. Was one of your goals in the fall to be uh, become one of the best teams in Perry football history? Because you, you accomplished that, so – Hopefully uh, it carries over to the spring. So, all right, give me a breakout player. Who do you think is going to have a big year for the Pirates? Ooh, uh, 
Kyle Reinberger. Um, he's our uh, second baseman, but he did good last year. But I know this year uh, he's going to do better. He's putting the work, and I definitely see a lot of results happening. It's looking great. Outstanding. Well, good luck to you this year. And, again, congrats on that football state championship. That's pretty Thank awesome. You. All right, Coach, back to you. All right, so we, we talked a little bit about your pitching staff, uh, some of your pitchers, your catcher, a little infield, a little outfield. What What's missing? Uh, what, what do you think is going to be the biggest strength for your team this year? Uh, I mean, part of our strength is our experience, kind of how you were asking, Jason. Like, these guys know the roles. They know the expectations of the program. Uh, and they so consistently have shown that in practice. Uh, a couple of times I've, you know, I've put plans together and we, we zip through them pretty quick uh, because we do know our roles and expectations and, and where the ball is supposed to go, um, which has left us more time to hit, which is fun too. Um, but, you know, that's definitely a strength. I think we have great team speed. You know, if you talk about a physical attribute, um, you know, we always try to enforce the issue in the bases and, and uh, kind of produce some runs like that. Uh, and these guys are always willing to do that. Uh, and that's the fun part of the game for them as well. Other teams and our, and our leadership, um, you know, but these three guys sitting here, uh, there's also other guys who contribute to, you know, uh, Owen mentioned Kyle Reinberger. He, he is, you know, he's a great ball player too. Uh, it's so baseball is so important to him uh, and it shows every day. Um, you know, you have your CVC report that you had us all write quotes on. Uh, and, you know, one of my quotes, I mentioned how I hope, I'm glad our youth organizations get to see these guys and this team play because uh, they do everything the right way. And that's how you you, you create a dynasty is you get those young kids uh, inspired by the high school kids and they want to play and represent Perry. And I think that worked in football and hopefully it can work in baseball. But uh, all right, Coach. Well, I appreciate you and the guys taking some time out of your day to preview the season and best of luck to you this year. Thank you, Steve. Thanks for what you do too.